Hello everybody, welcome to Shodoshima. This is Tono Shio on the, the island of Shoto Island and we're gonna be taking this ferry from here to Takamatsu and it's gonna be departing at the ripe time of 8.35, which is very soon from now. How you doing everybody? So it's, uh, it's November and we have some really nice sunny weather. I'm really happy about this. I don't know how the signal's gonna be out at sea, but we're gonna be crossing the Seto Inland Sea, which is between Honshu Island and Shikoku. Takamatsu is the capital city of Kagawa, Kagawa Prefecture? I think so, yeah, Kagawa Prefecture. <laughs> it's been a while. And I get a lot of stuff to shoot over there today, but the last couple of days here at Shodoshima has been magical. I had a little convertible car. You could see that episode yesterday. I took you to the far side of this island on this channel. Again, all live streams here. Let's get boarding. So there's a line here. Let me see. So this is the ticket. So this is the ticket that you can get there. My bag was open in the back. Uh, it's only 700 yen to go between Takamatsu and uh, Tonosho. This is an adult ticket. Now there's also uh, across across the way, here's some people uh, disembarking. Over there is the high speed ferry. So they're very close to together. And uh, on that, that ferry will take 30 minutes. This ferry will take about an hour to get there. The difference is about, what, 450 yen about? So you have to kind of, mm, I don't know, it depends on the schedule, but which one is more important to you, the time or the money? And sometimes it could be just the ride. Good morning, Carrie. Oh, there's a rise. Some people say it's a race. Somebody said they pronounce it race, but I pronounce it rise. It's a Toyota. Just one of those boxy cars. Now these ferries are very frequent, at least one an hour going on until about, I don't know, it seemed like nine or 10 p.m. was the last ferry. And they started around 6.30 in the morning. And a lot of the commerce for the island of Shodoshima comes off of these ferries. Of course, probably all of them. Of course, the, there are other ships, but the ferries bring a lot of things, including the 7-Eleven truck, which will help to replenish the sandwiches and onigiri and everything at the convenience stores on the island. All right, it looks like we're, we're really close. To, we're really close to boarding the ferry here. Um, on the other side over there, you can catch a ferry from Tonosho to Okayama. And they have this really neat ticket where you can get the bus ticket and the ferry ticket that'll take you to Okayama Station directly. And I think that was about 2,000 yen or about. It was pretty reasonable considering uh, that it's about an hour and 40 minute ferry ride to get to the other side. Ferries in Japan usually are, are very inexpensive and maybe it's to uh, help shuttle locals back and forth, but it does keep the economy going. And I'm sure that the people who are uh, have these trucks here are paying a lot more than we are for the commerce that they run back and forth between the island and the mainland. There's no train travel, of course, onto the island. Um, the receipt is on the bottom, so I think they're going to take the top and let, let me keep the bottom part. Tono Show is really nice. Um, the thing to, to point out with this island is that this, this city is that it closes out around lunchtime. <laughs> like around 2 o'clock, all the restaurants close and there's very little out open for dinner here. So, yeah, it does help to have a car, but there are other areas of the island that, um, I guess this is mostly a port of call and people just work here. Not a lot of people living. No supermarkets that I could find. The rented car offices are on this side. Oh, that's where I got, that's, that's the place where I got the um, rented car. Um, Mishima is what it's called, the little car over there, and Orixit. All right, we're almost there. Again, I don't know how good the signal's gonna be, but my fingers are crossed that we have a clear signal all the way to Takamatsu, which would be really awesome. There's not a lot for me to do on the train, on the uh, ferry anyways. So it's nice to bring you along with me.
Boy, that sun is hot. Hey, Bradshaw Studio is here. How you doing? Wow, this ferry could take a lot of trucks. Wow, there's an RV camper. That's awesome way to get around. Wow. Well, they lowered it a little bit. I don't know where we're gonna be able to sit. I guess up on deck somewhere. I'm not sitting in the bottom here. Yeah, Japan has so many islands and there are so many ferry services. It's just, it's, you can't count them all. So I'm sure somebody did somewhere. The longest ferry ride that I believe is the um, 24 hours to Ogasawara. And the, uh, there's also like a 48-hour one that leaves from Odaiba that will take you to Kyushu with a stop in Shikoku. Into the belly of the ship. Into the great beast. Whoa! So I see what we got here. This looks very familiar. Look, there's even like a snack bar. Hey, I can get a morning coffee. But being me, I like to sit outside. Oh, hey, how you guys doing? You know what, I think it might be smart to leave my stuff inside instead of on the deck. But I'm not a smart man, so. Oh, we're on the top. This is where it's at, the pate. All right, I'm guessing we're gonna be leaving from this side. Yeah, I definitely should have left my stuff Definitely should have left my stuff inside, I think. We're on top of a ferry! How cool is this? All right, I know how ferries work. Everything's gonna blow away and move around, I think. Let's keep that there for a second. WRX Turbo is in the house. Ha. <laughs> Olives! That's what I'm talking about. I got to harvest the olives yesterday. That was kind of fun. All right. So these berries here, they're all going to different places. This one is going, where's it going? I think it's going to Toyoshima and Utohoshi. I can't see the kanji on the other side, but there's a small island. They're like really artistic islands and the islands have found a way to make themselves relevant to tourism. Some of them will, will add in um, uh, art installations, which is really cool. And that certainly makes us want to go and visit. But I think the challenge for the islands in Japan is not for day trippers, but how do you get people to stay there if you want them to stay there? Because I think, you know, accommodations and, and going out to eat, you want people to spend more than a day but most people do day trips. Miyajima is a prime example. I think everybody should stay for a, a full day, for a, at least one night in Miyajima. This is the most popular of the islands, I think, for tourism. There's so many ferries leaving every 15 minutes between uh, the mainland Hiroshima Prefecture and Miyajima Island. Do you think they're gonna do the horn? Doot doot. Now inevitably, 
eventually I'm going to have to do a couple of things. One, I'm going to have to put the wireless mic in so that keeps the audio wind noise down if I stay up here. Or two, I go inside and have a comfortable ride indoors hitting that snack shack. <laughs> it's up to you. What do you think I should do? I don't know. Should I shout down to those guys down there and ask them? What would you do? Takamatsu... That's a, that's a great question. Takamatsu is um, on the island of Shikoku. Do you know what Shikoku is? So Japan has four main islands. Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu. Kyushu is the uh, southwesternmost island that's closest to Okinawa. Uh, Shikoku is this mini Australia because it has the shape of Australia on it. It's kind of neat. So if it was Australia, where would it, where would um, Takam, uh, Takamatsu be? It would be like where, where um, Darwin is maybe. I, I don't know what cities there would be, but it would be on that side of, of uh, mini Australia. Uh, I've ridden around my bicycle around Shikoku and it was a really challenging trip. Yeah, not Tasmania. That This would be where, I think this would be considered maybe Tasmania. I don't know. I, I can't, I don't know which way, but it, Shikoku does look like a mini Australia. There we got some, some mini trucks going into the uh, ferry. I've never driven a car onto the ferry. That'd be s something I might want to try. I guess you just drive and park. But I'm always reminded of like the uh, action movies or horror movies where things go wrong on ferries and yeah, I don't want to lose my car. I think the last ones to board are these trucks. So that's why they're waiting onto the side here. They're empty. Maybe they made a delivery here and they got to return back to get another delivery. It's hard to say. But we will probably be going inside. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Um, I'm just, I'm more than anything just curious to see if we can actually have a signal out to sea. So you might want to go get some popcorn. <laughs> if it's the evening, you could get yourself a drink and just enjoy. Oh, we're, we're, we're moving. Just enjoy the nice, relaxing ferry ride to the mainland. I can smell some delicious fuel exhaust in my mouth right now. Ugh. So worth it, though. If it's so worth it, I should breathe deeper. <sighs> the smell of exhaust. Heike gas in Japanese. As we pull away just a little bit from Tono Sho. I've been calling it Tono. I, I guess some locals had called it Tono. I don't remember, but it's Tono Sho is the name of the city, but the port city. But I call it Tono. It's it's the biggest port city, and that's mostly most of the, most ferries will enter in through here. There is a bus service and some accommodations in Tono Sho, and I stayed here the last two nights because it was close to the rent-a-car place. Maybe I can see the car I rented. Oh, there's the gasoline that I got the last tank of gas at. Bye-bye, Shell. Bye-bye, Hotel. Bye-bye, Yoko's guest house over there. It was very nice. Thank you, Yoko. That's, I think that's your name. Ferry ride is about a little bit under an hour, I believe. All right, the wind's starting to pick up here. Let me know if the wind noise gets too too overbearing. I shall get the wireless mics or do something to to compensate. I guess I can get that out now. That's my wireless mic set. So the audio, oh, look at that exhaust, it's nasty. Oh, jingle. some music and some uh, <laughs> it's a goodbye jingle 
号を出航いたしました高松港までの所要時間は約1時間の予定でございます All right. Again, ho I hope the signal stays strong. I had signal um, for the internet. It was surfing the internet all the way here for 30 minutes last time when I was coming. So I wonder, I'm just really curious how it's going to be. Oh, so the, the ferry flipped around. I didn't expect that. I thought it would just go back the way, way it came. Oh, it's sad to say goodbye. Look at the mountains of, of Shodoshima. Stunning. Wow. This is my maybe third time on the island, and uh, I'm sure I'll be back again. Hey, there's a fine feathered friend here. Hey, buddy. See you next time. Stay away from the crows. And the seagulls. They're a gang as well. Wow, this feels great. There's so much more to see and do here. Yeah, in Takamatsu, I'll be spending the day there. And if I can, I'll take the last train back to Tokyo tonight. Uh, uh, I just got a lot of editing to do. And every time I go in a location shoot, I'm just so wiped out when I come back. It's hard to get back into editing. Um, but I, you know, I've been struggling with the last episode. I want to get back and finish it. I tried to edit in the hotel. It just wasn't good. I didn't have all the uh, my hard drives with me. So yeah, it's time to get back home. Film the sucker tonight. <laughs> it's going to be a good episode. It's going to be a good episode. The olive liner. All right, let's go inside a little bit. Oh, some dude doing exercises. It's better. You loosen up the joints. Smart guy. Uh, it's not too bad because of the sunshine. It's about, um, yesterday it was about 22 degrees uh, Celsius. Um, I think that's like upper 60s maybe. It's enough, it's good enough to wear shorts, but not enough to, you know, pretend like it's summer. Shorts are good until December here, really. Some people, until the, I guess around December 10th, it starts to, it starts to, the chill starts to come in, the winter chill. But until then, you know, you're good with shorts. Shorts can come back in April. <laughs> but I still, I might sneak them out if the weather's warming up. Depends where I am. All right, I think it might be better to go in, inside. All right, let's get let's get inside, and then I'll, I'll I can fix the mics and stuff, and come back up maybe. Woo! Let's go into the belly of the beast. Oh, yes, yes. A hurry, mateys. Oh, it's better down here, maybe. Let's see if we can find a sofa.
Hmm. Everybody gets their own row. I have an idea. There you go. I'm just going to leave my bags right there. How you doing? Open. Wow, just like magic. Wow, this is awesome. Look, there's three other fairies following us. How dare you? We're just getting away from the main, from a uh, uh, Tono Show. Uh, if you're looking at a map of Shodoshima, you can find Tono Show, and you can actually follow the route. Google Maps has it all set out. In fact, I, they might even have a line showing the route of the ferry going to Takamatsu. Um, there's so many ferries, they follow a line. You can see that the one in front of us is just up there. So it doesn't look like they're actually, they're moving at, at warp speed here. This isn't uh, the Star Trek Enterprise. This is more like a ferry. I guess something like that. Right. Dienza Zerzers writes in here, the Google does show the route. Awesome. Dude, I, I totally want to Keanu Reeves speedo this truck here, jump on top and get a free ride, but I have somebody waiting for me on the other side, so <laughs> that would be funny. That, that would be an entrance. If I jumped on here and I came out on top of a truck surfing, it'd be pretty sweet. And highly illegal. go to the other side here um i i'm i'm starting to think that this is the direction to honshu island or, and uh, okayama is very far in the distance here so a little wind here so i get that feeling that okayama is in this direction I would say that I think that the ferry is busy. It's busier than it was in the past, but this is a morning ferry, so people are doing a commute from one place to another. The vending machine, uh, um, but first I want to, let's go to the front of the ferry and check. What? So they even have free Wi-Fi on the ferry. That's pretty cool. Here's the layout of the ship. Some ferries have like movie theaters on board, so you, you'll find some really amazing things on, on Japanese ferries, including like vending machine restaurants I've seen a couple of times. I'm going to the front of the observation. Look at that, here comes another ferry we're passing on the on the starboard side. Sorry, the port side. Oh, I forget my starboard and port. There are a lot of olive liners going back and forth. crazy oh look at that i think they're harvesting seaweed do you see those buoys over there i think that's where they're harvesting seaweed 
That's when you see all of those buoys, their nets underneath there. They're doing something. This, the uh, Seto Inland Sea has some amazing seaweed. This might be one of the top best places for it. Right, Cope, Cope Dipper, 1963. Thanks for reminding us. If you, if you learned anything this live stream, it'll be port and starboard. Port and left both have four letters. That's how I sort of remembered too. It, it, it hit me at the last second, like starboard, no, that's port. So on our left side, it passed. Thanks for that. Yeah, this is gonna be about an hour ride. So I probably cut out in, a, in about a couple of minutes here, but let's go take a look at that snack bar. How much does the coffee set us back? Wow, you can get udon here. Oh wow, they took all the coffee. They gotta brew a new pot, which is, I guess, a good thing. This is a coffee set. Hey, Alan on the B. Welcome. I guess I'm gonna have to wait for a new pot of coffee now. Let's explore those characters. Um, I wanna learn a little bit about these animated characters as well. They actually have udon on the menu as well. Wow. Coffee set, Nagajimas. 
、セットはこれですかどちらでもあー何が違う色だけ抹茶とはいチンクリームああはいじゃあこれですはいはいはいアリスが新しいパーティー。All right, we're gonna go explore those characters over there. I don't know who they are. We'll figure it out. Boy, the poor guy, he's, he's running the whole restaurant himself. Oh, there's the, uh, the um, udon burners over there. Behind this plastic shield. Waiting for the coffee to come while he's making some udon as well, right now, for this customer. Hurry up, coffee. Thirsty.、Uh, they don't have a katsu sando here. They have udon, niku udon,、um, various confections.、Uh, I, I just don't want any udon right now. It's kind of early in the morning for me. It's 8 30 in the morning. Although, there's no bad time for udon. ありがとうございます。All right, follow this coffee. It's hot. Wow, it's hot.
Hey, that dude took my chair. The coffee's so hot. Ah, ah, ah! The coffee's hot. I burned my hand. <laughs> it's hot. All right, let's try this snack here. Whew. It's like a mon manju, maybe. It's only one way to find out. Open, open. This came as a set. I think it's a good idea. Put a little confection. Upsell, upsell. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a little manju. So it's um, it's a white bean paste, uncle. The other one had a matcha flavor to it. I bypassed the matcha. I went for the the normal golden one. I like it. Sometimes matcha doesn't have to be in everything. It just uh, gets in the way. You know, I usually have my coffee. Uh, with milk in the morning, and then the second cup is black. But at Starbucks, I just get it black now, or any of the cafes, because it's just stronger. Ah, coffee, hot coffee. Reminds me of my time on the Indian trains. Every st station you'd stop off, a guy, a chai wallow would come on and he'd go, chai, chai, coffee, coffee, chai, chai, chai. Then you'd get a, a cup of chai or a cup of coffee. Both of them, it was usually Nescafe, both of them super sweet, filled with milk and lots of sugar. <laughs> chai, chai, coffee, coffee, coffee. Omelet, omelet. There's an omelet guy usually. He's got pieces of bread with an omelet in the middle. Omelet, omelet. Chai, chai. Coffee. And when they see you, they stop. They look at you. They see you. They they, they make their they make it into a question. Coffee, coffee. Chai. You say no, and then he just continues. Coffee, chai, chai. Coffee. I miss India. I wish I could get back there. The train culture has, has definitely changed over the last 10 years. A lot of people just take buses now because it's faster because the highway system was, was seriously re, re, was, uh, improved. The intercity highways, so much better than it was uh, 20 years ago and now people just drive or take the bus. So train travel has really fallen apart in India, which is a shame because that culture, I loved it. I think it was the biggest rail network in the world in one country and then I don't know it seems like people been yeah, it just hasn't been it's been in disrepair that was a good snack all right let's go find out the last thing we're gonna do is find out about this manga or anime and if you know let, let me know if you know because I'm a beginner at anime manga culture Karakai. I think that's the anime. There's a whole map for Tono Show. Oh, so I guess you can see right here from the from the uh, map here. So this is Shodoshima. There's Tono Show. Right? Here's Tono Show. And we're taking the ferry like here. To Takamatsu. Is that Takamatsu? Where's Takamatsu? Takamatsu, here. So this is the biggest city in Kagawa Prefecture, Takamatsu. And the ferry just cuts across here to Tono Show, into the center. Right there, into that nook. So it's it's a it's a really good ride. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this this m manga is. So, yeah. 
Karakai Jozu? I, I can't, I don't know. The trip is approximately, uh, approximately one hour. Right, the author is from Shodoshima, writes in Johnny Deep. Thank you, Johnny. Sorry for the wind noise. The author is from uh, Shodoshima. And uh, yeah, I, I love the fact that they'll connect the location where the, with the author of famous manga and anime. Totori takes really advantage of that too. Uh, Totori City is, is a Conan, the anime of the detective Conan. That's the airport is named after the anime and manga. And uh, Yonago is is uh, the Ge 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 no Kitaro, uh, Mizuki uh, San's uh, creation there. And you can see the monsters. The airport is named after that anime. The uh, uh, anime. I, I guess it was a manga series as well, which is so cool. And more and more places are starting to do that. They're wrapping the trains in anime and manga and taking pride in it, and it, it, it draws people to come and visit um, when you have something, that kind of an attraction that has a mass appeal for the domestic tourism. It says Aizan as well in uh, uh, Sakura, uh, Sakuramachi in Tokyo. You can see this, it says Aizan Museum, and she's all over the place there. Wow, we're coming up, entering into Shikoku. Right. So, um, yeah, I, I get a lot to film in in, in uh, Takamatsu today. It's going to be a very busy day. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, get to see some uh, olive wagyu, uh, the auction, and then we're going to go to the processing plant, and then we're going to go inside of, uh, to a restaurant and eat it. And I love these wagyu episodes when I get a chance to do that. That's the women's bathroom, by the way, I believe shield there so shielding the wind <laughs> and the stuff going on inside so it's gonna be a pretty good day I'm, I'm taking the, the uh, train back to Okayama by 7 p.m. so I'll be back in Tokyo tonight and uh, um, yeah it's gonna be a shame I, I wish I had a little bit more time but I got so much editing to do it this, this month I have to get out my goal is three videos on the main channel and I think I can hit that just I just gotta get home from these this location shoot and start to work <laughs> work on it Man, I, and I filmed that olive ice cream in 8K yesterday too. To get, got some really great shots. That was so good. That was a live stream two days ago in the Olive Olive Park, the Olive Garden Park. <laughs> Every time I, I go to Shodoshima, I'm reminded of the first time I went to Olive Garden restaurant. Probably not the best, the best of memories, but when you're at Olive Garden, you're with family. Just give me some breadsticks. Uncle. The Japanese olive oil is famous from this island in particular, and uh, it's it's really good. They have. Everything hand-picked, everything pressed uh, in local factories, and they actually make the olive wagyu food fresh the same day that the olives are picked. I thought that was really interesting. So I think the world is going to see for the first time some really interesting information about this olive wagyu that's such a big brand outside of Japan. Um, but the food is it, it's amazing how they make that fresh from the byproducts of the olives. And it gives the olive uh, meat some special characteristics that you don't find with other Wagyu brands, so they say. We're gonna find out, because I'm asking a master chef in an interview tonight, as he cooks, I wanna ask him, like, what's the deal? Look at that mountain in the background. That's cool. How do you climb that? I guess you need like uh, ropes and stuff for that one. Eddie, I'm sure that there's an olive oil festival. And thank you, Katayama is in the house. Welcome, buddy. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was an olive oil festival. I was hoping there'd be, I, you know, I came, this year's um, harvest is ending early. It seems like they didn't have a great harvest this year. So I told them I'll come back and film next year maybe for the harvest. And then this year I just filmed what I needed for the, the Wagyu beef episode. So we'll see. We'll see how this shapes up. But I, I start editing this uh, um, by the end of the week. So Peter and I have been editing. Peter and I have been editing behind the scenes the motorcycle video. And I have three edits in the timeline as well. So it's going to be a busy week this week. So I, this weekend and next week. So I just want to get home. Yeah, I highly recommend if you are at, at the Olive Park in Shodoshima that you get that olive oil ice cream. It is just so good. And they use that local fresh pressed olive oil in the season. And it has a little bit of a bite to it. It's, it's really good. And it, I guess it has like antiseptic properties, almost like cleaning your, your palate with each uh, bite of the olive oil. I thought that was really good. So I, I'm bringing back two bottles of it for Kanai. That's what she wanted as a gift. And I brought back a little bottle of olive paste for some my bread maker. So I did get some souvenirs here. Yeah, Caroline, I'm, I'm so hungry right now too. That little cookie didn't do much. Tonight I'll be eating olive wagyu in many different forms. Steak, shabu shabu, yakiniku. <laughs> we'll see which one is the best way to eat it. But I've been eating, um, but I've been eating, I, I feel bad, I'm, I'm standing right next to the women's room. I've been eating uh, uh, olive wagyu. You can get this, uh, Furusato Noze is this thing where you can use your tax money and offset your taxes by buying local products. So Kanai and I will buy olive wagyu or olive oil. And it would be, of course we would pay for it, but it, we would be, it would deduct from our taxes, which is cool. Everybody wins, and uh, I've already eaten a lot of olive wagyu at home at Shabu Shabu, and I thought that that was the best way to eat it at Shabu Shabu because then you can really, um, I think with the boiling of the water and a little bit of salt, you can really taste the uh, a true taste of the olives uh, if, the, if it even exists. It's very light. And then of course, there's um, yakiniku, which I think is also a good way with a little bit of salt that's all you need to really get the flavor of the Wagyu beef. Yes, it's a shame. This isn't where they do naked pearl diving. That's in Mie Prefecture. I think National Geographic was the first on the spot. Yeah, let's see who could find the Peter Von Gom emojis for the Only in Japan Go live chat. <laughs> if you're a member, thanks for signing up. Show your love for PBG by sharing his emoji. <laughs> Jason's got two of them. Oh, are there two of them in there? Oh my god. <laughs> Now you, you have to combine the PVG emoji with food or something that is confusing for that one. <laughs> Hardy's got melon kuma in there. <laughs> Jason's going olive on us. Nothing more flattering. Make them feel special. Um, I didn't see any dolphins, but I know that they exist in the ocean, which is a good thing. All right, everybody, this is getting old. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm just really impressed that there's a signal out here. Uh, but I will, I will be in Takamatsu, and I'll try to do another live stream, although my main purpose is to film for the main channel episode. 
I'll try to live stream in Takamatsu, and I'll be on the Shinkansen tonight. I'm not sure I'll, sh I'll uh, live stream that, but uh, it'll be uh, it'll be an eventful day. And if I can, I'll, I'll show you around one more time. One more time. I'll try. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the cool, the cool, relaxing sound of ferry motors. It's really loud. Shane writes in here, Peter Von Gom, it's your special day. <laughs> really? Ah, shucks. That's nice, you guys made him feel special.